biggest plummet since the crash of 29. I know your family, you know mine. No, I don't know, some fucking country in Europe took a shit. Let them do what they want to fucking do. Our market solid. Holdings, this is not something that you want to see. You know what happened? It's important sell. to note that predicting the exact timing of a housing market collapse is difficult, if not impossible. However, there are certain indicators that can suggest that a housing market may be at risk of a downturn. Here are a few things to consider. Rapid price appreciation, if home prices are rising significantly faster than income levels, it could be a sign of a housing bubble. If the bubble bursts, home prices could fall, leading to a housing market collapse. Oversupply of homes, if there is an excess supply of homes on the market, it can lead to falling home prices and a housing market collapse. This can happen if there is a surge in new construction or if homeowners decide to sell their homes, but there aren't enough buyers to absorb the excess supply. Decreasing demand for housing, if demand for housing falls, it can lead to a housing market collapse. This can happen if there is a recession, a rise in interest rates, or a decrease in population growth. High levels of household debt, if households have high levels of debt, they may be less able to afford a mortgage and may be more vulnerable to defaulting on their loans. This could lead to a housing market collapse if a large number of households default on their mortgages. Decreasing credit availability, if lenders become more stringent in their lending practices or if the supply of mortgage credit dries up, it can make it more difficult for people to obtain financing to buy a home. This can lead to a decrease in demand for housing and a housing market collapse. Economic indicators, a housing market collapse can often be preceded by economic indicators such as rising unemployment, declining GDP, or a stock market crash. It's important to note that the presence of one or more of these factors does not necessarily mean that a housing market collapse is imminent. However, if several of these indicators are present, it may be worth considering the potential risks to the housing market. It's a scenario that many Americans fear, the collapse of the housing market. But what would happen if it actually occurred? Scene 1, The Initial Impact The first thing we would likely see is a drastic drop in home values. This would be especially pronounced in areas where the housing market was already overvalued or experiencing a bubble. For example, in the lead up to the 2008 financial crisis, home values in some parts of the country skyrocketed, only to come crashing down when the market collapsed. I remember when I bought my first home. It was in a really hot market, and I paid way more than I should have. When the market collapsed, my home lost almost half its value overnight. It was devastating. This drop in home values would be felt by homeowners across the country, but it would hit those who bought at the height of the market the hardest. Many of these homeowners would be left with mortgages that were much higher than the value of their homes, leading to a phenomenon known as negative equity. I had just bought a new home when the market collapsed. I was so excited to finally be a homeowner, but then everything fell apart. I was suddenly underwater on my mortgage, and there was no way I could sell my home for what I had paid for it. It was a really tough time. The drop in home values would also have a ripple effect on the economy as a whole. As people saw the value of their homes decline, they would be less likely to make big purchases like cars or appliances. This would lead to a decline in consumer spending, which would further hurt the economy. I was working in real estate when the market collapsed. It was scary to see how it affected not just the housing market, but the entire economy. People were losing their homes and their jobs, and it was really tough for everyone. Scene 2, The Fallout The impact of a housing market collapse would not be limited to just homeowners. Renters would also be affected, as landlords would struggle to keep up with their mortgage payments and potentially be forced to sell their rental properties. This would lead to a shortage of rental properties, and those that were available would likely see a steep increase in rent. I was renting when the market collapsed, 
and it was really hard to find a place to live. Prices were going up, and it seemed like everyone was trying to find a place to rent. It was a really stressful time. The collapse of the housing market would also have a significant impact on the construction industry. As the demand for new homes plummeted, builders would be forced to scale back or even halt construction altogether. This would lead to job losses in the construction industry, and a decline in the availability of new homes. I was working in construction when the market collapsed. It was tough to see so many of my co-workers lose their jobs, and it was hard to find work in the industry. It was a really rough time. The collapse of the housing market would also have a serious impact on the financial industry. Banks and other lenders would be hit hard, as the value of the mortgages they held would drop significantly. This could lead to a wave of foreclosures, as homeowners struggled to make their mortgage payments. I was working in banking when the market collapsed. It was really scary to see how many people were losing their homes. The bank I worked for was taking a huge hit, and it was a if the US housing market were to collapse, there would be a number of groups that would be most affected. Some of these groups include homeowners, renters, real estate investors, and small business owners. For homeowners, a housing market collapse would likely result in a significant drop in the value of their homes. This would make it difficult for them to sell their homes, especially if they had recently purchased a home or if they had taken out a mortgage with a high interest rate. Many homeowners would also be unable to afford their monthly mortgage payments, which could lead to a wave of foreclosures across the country. Renters would also be heavily impacted by a housing market collapse. As the value of homes drops, so too will the cost of rent. This could lead to a significant drop in the number of rental properties available, as many landlords may be unable to afford to maintain their properties. This could result in a tight rental market, with higher demand for housing and fewer options for those seeking a place to live. Real estate investors would also be affected by a housing market collapse. Those who have invested in the housing market through the purchase of rental properties or through the development of new housing would likely see a significant drop in the value of their investments. This could result in a loss of income for these investors, as well as a decrease in the value of their portfolio. Finally, small business owners would also be affected by a housing market collapse. Many small businesses rely on the housing market to drive sales and generate income. For example, a small home renovation company may see a drop in business if fewer people are able to afford home repairs or renovations. Similarly, a small furniture store may see a drop in sales if fewer people are able to afford new furniture for their homes.